Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Road Trip by Gabriel Iglesias from Hot and Fluffy Comedy Special. Let's see what he has to say. One more good story to tell you. I took, a, I took a road trip about a year ago after I got rid of the Beetle in the SUV. Took a road trip from LA to Phoenix to go perform at this club. Let me tell you who's in the car. I'm driving, I got my buddy Armando riding shotgun. He's another fluffy guy, we call him sexy bitch. <laughs> well, I don't call him that, his wife calls him that. He's a sexy bitch! Anyway. <laughs> In the back seat, I got my friend Martin. Next to him is my friend Martin. Felipe. So we take off. We're on the 10 freeway. We're passing all these Indian casinos. Sorry, we're stupid like that. Anyway, all of a sudden, all these cars start passing me, right? I'm getting annoyed because I'm driving a. I said, next car that tries to pass me, I'm not gonna let him. So I'm looking in the rear view mirror, waiting, looking, waiting, waiting, and I see a silver dot. The silver dot turned out to be a little car with two hoochies in it, right? Hoochies? Some of you guys are going, how do you know they're hoochies? Because my friend Martin was in the back seat going, I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> they tried to go around and I cut them off. <laughs> oh my I'm God. I'm having fun, they're back there, ee, ee, whatever. <laughs> My friend Felipe. There's so much going on with these sound effects, and the fact that they're all coming from this one body is insane. It's my favorite thing about him. And if you've watched any of my other reactions to him, you know I love his ability to make sounds that are so realistic. It's crazy. Felipe is in the backseat yelling at me, Fool, what are you doing? I go, Dude, don't worry, I'm having fun. Gary, you're going to get pulled over. Dude, I'm okay, it's cool. We're arguing, going back and forth. I'm not paying attention. I don't see a California Highway Patrol officer creeping up on us. All of a sudden, I hear, I look at the speedometer, 102. <gasps> oh, I freaked out. <laughs> oh, no. The little car. 102 on a bus? Sounds like flipping over to me. What? And then to get caught at 102, like you weren't even trying to slow down? Oh. Handcuffs. Immediately handcuffs. <laughs> Super speeder handcuffs. <laughs> the little car that was behind me with the two hoochies, they got pulled over because they were going just as fast, you know? I'm in the front seat of my car freaking out. Oh my God, I'm going to jail, I can't believe it. So wait, I'm is it a car or a bus? From the back seat, I hear my friend Felipe. Fool, what are you crying for? Oh, it's a car, it's like a truck. What are you crying for, fool? You're not the one with weed in his pocket, are you? <laughs> you have drugs in the car? I told you to slow down, didn't I? <laughs> but no, Pikachu knows everything. <laughs> Shoot, everybody roll down your window. I heard the car. Mondo fart. Do something, man. Don't go. The cop walks over the window, looks in, sees my face, recognizes me from TV, right? He's like, hey, I know you. You're a comedian. Does the cop breathe like that? <laughs> yeah, you're that guy from Comedy Central. You're the guy that does that joke about his friend at a hotel, and you crank call him, and you call him a dirty Mexican, and then you go, but it was funny, huh? Oh, I love that joke. That one, and when you go, chocolate Oh, I love that joke. I hate to do this to you, but we got two cars involved. I need your license and registration. Okay, here you go. Here you go. So he takes my info, goes back to the car with the two girls in it, right? The whole time he's back there, I tell everybody in the car, check it out. He just recognized me from TV. Maybe if we have some fun with him, crack some jokes, maybe he won't take the car. I don't care if I get a ticket, but as long as he doesn't take the car. Mando, be silly, crack a joke. Martin, be funny. Felipe, what, fool? Shut the hell up. <laughs> so the Felipe is that one friend, that one friend. I'm so confused because he was making noises as if he was driving like a big tour bus or like a RV or a semi or something. And it's just a car. But like, why are you honk honking if it's just a car? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see where this is going to go. A 
Rock comes back to the car. What the hell were you doing out there? Before I could think of something funny to say, from the back seat I hear, fool, he was testing the suspension. <laughs> oh my God, this pothead's gonna get me arrested. Not fool. Officer, I'm sorry, that's my friend Felipe. That's the guy from the special. That's the guy who says, but it was funny, huh? He's just trying to get me in trouble. I'm really sorry. Whatever. So he goes back to his squad car with my driver's license and he's swiping it in a computer. The whole time he's doing that, he's being yelled at from the back seat of my car. Hey, officer, thank no. God you have a computer. Last week we got stopped in Mexico. That fool had a Rolodex. No. <laughs> the cop starts dying. <laughs> Oh, we got him going. We got him going. I told my buddy Mondo, give me my CDs. I take out my Bad Boys 2 soundtrack and I pop it in. Bad Track boy. 3 is the theme song to cops. I tell my friend Felipe, tell me when the cop starts walking. Okay, oh, here he comes. I crank that song as loud as I could. Bad boy, bad boy. Ah, bad boys, what you going? What you going? What you going to do? Best part, now the cop is walking to, to the, the beat. beat. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Bad Boys is a favorite. Fr like that whole franchise is a favorite in this household. We love it. We love it. We love it. <laughs> Even better than that, the two hoochies in the car can hear the music and they're freaking out. They're like, oh my God, we're going to be on TV. <laughs> the cop goes to the girls, gives them a ticket, lets them go. <laughs> Looks at our car, and at this point, we're like halfway through the song, right? We're like, arms out the window like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> the cop is in the middle of the freeway dying. <laughs> he walks over to the window and he's like, shut it off! <laughs> Yes, sir. Hands me my license and the registration, and he tells me, Gabriel, I want you to do me a big favor. I want you to keep this tank under 100. You think you can do that? <laughs> do that for me. Keep on doing what you do, and you have yourself a nice day. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it? No ticket, nothing? No ticket? No ticket. I don't know what possessed me to look at this man and oh, go, why? Oh. How come the girls got it? You don't ask questions like that. You say thank you, God bless, and go about your day. <laughs> Why? You gonna make the man think about what he's doing? Oh no, sir. Oh no. Why? Uh-uh. How come the girls got a ticket? And he tells me the coolest thing. He says, cause they couldn't make me laugh. Fair enough. Fair. You don't understand, Gabriel. I've been on the force now for 26 years. This is hands down the funniest damn traffic stop I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to give two sluts a ticket while listening to cops? <laughs> I damn near pissed myself I was laughing so hard. <laughs> This is going in the books is one of the funniest things ever happened to a police officer, I swear to God. The only story better than this one is a buddy of mine pulled over some fat guy that gave him donuts. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that I missed, like, I, you know, I came in at the wrong time, but he told a story and he was the guy that gave a cop donuts. I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. Am I right? <laughs> So he starts walking away, right? And just as I'm about to start the car. <laughs> so does that mean I can keep my weed? I turn around to yell at my friend. Too late, the cop is at the window. 
You want to run that by me again, son? You heard what I said, fool? Oh, you think this is a big joke, don't you? You think that just because I gave your buddy here a break, I know who he is, I like what he does. I don't know you, I don't like you. Step out of the car. He, he, he can't go on any more road trips. Felipe is not invited for any more road trips. No, sir. No, sir. Give your buddy here a break. I know who he is, I like what he does. I don't know you, I don't like you. Step out of the car. I turn around and my friend Felipe is like, Oh, I am so scared. Felipe? And the cop pulls out his gun. I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God. Backseat, my friend Felipe. Oh, oh, I am so scared. Oh, he is good. He is good. Then he points it at him. Oh my God. The look on my friend Felipe's face. Oh, priceless. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? I wanna go to jail. I wanna go to jail. The cop was like, shh, shh, nah. But that was funny, huh? I love you, Bakersfield. Thank you. That was really good. I've never seen the end of his show. Azúcar. Uh, isn't azúcar sugar in Spanish? Maybe. Um, I've never seen the ending. That was fun. I love how he ends his show. That was hilarious. The cop had a really good sense of humor. If that story was true, which I hope it was. Um, he's so funny. He's so funny. And he can really, he has such a good ability to paint each character. And so you feel like you're, you're just listening to him tell a story, but you do really feel like you can see and visualize. Like, I know what the girls in the car look like. I know what the cop looks like because he does such a good job of creating all of the characters in his stories. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. And don't go do 102 on the, fire, on the freeway. Don't do that. All right. Peace.